Hey guys, this is a Lantane LAM 350H metal lathe. Uh, a lot of the projects I'm starting on now are going to require some machining, so I figured it's about time I uh, got one of these. Uh, I picked this up for $900. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, the ways are all uh, pretty good. A little bit of surface rust from storage. Uh, nothing bad, but a bit of rust on the chuck. Uh, seems a reasonable quality. Um, made in 1981 by Lantane Machinery Company in Taiwan. Uh, has a bit of metric and uh, inch uh, thread cutting. Uh, let's see. Reasonable quality. I mean, the top is cast iron, it's not sheet metal. A bit dirty inside. The whole thing needs a pretty good cleanup, but apparently it was in a uh, sort of an R&D lab type thing, so it wasn't used uh, heavily for production. Right now this has a uh, milling attachment on it. I believe it you just put the cutter in the chuck and you can uh, do mill it, really small milling on this. Controls all operate pretty nicely. Uh, yes, power, uh, power feed, power cross feed. The only major problem is this is missing the tailstock. Apparently it was uh, in storage and uh, some thieves broke in and stole a bunch of copper wire and for some reason took the tailstock. So that's annoying. So I've ordered a uh, tailstock. I couldn't find the original tailstock for this anywhere. Seems to be this is a, this brand isn't really that uh, popular. So I've gotten one from a uh, an Atlas lathe, and I'll have to make it a, a something to uh, adapt it to work on this uh, particular bed. I believe the motor on this is uh, about one horsepower. Yeah, two stage belt reduction. I think this goes from uh, 50 to 1,200 RPM. And on the back, there's more gears for uh, driving the uh, thread cutting, power, power feed. And the bore on this is 1 and 3 eighths inch, or about 35 millimeter. This came with a decent set of accessories. Uh, came with a three, three jaw, four jaw chuck, uh, a couple of plates, uh, what else? Uh, Centers. What is it? The thing that holds the steadies the workpiece. The, uh, tool holder, boring bar. Whole bunch of included a whole bunch of uh, metal with it. Some tool steel and stuff. Um, yeah, everything's here except for the tailstock. So hopefully that one uh, new one I've ordered will fit. Those other extra jaws for the chuck. Whole bunch of. Uh, Random cutters and things. Also came with a uh, tray for catching coolant and uh, cutting uh, cuttings. And this, uh, I think it must be missing the original base because it came with this uh, steel tube frame as a base. Quick change gearbox all seems in pretty good condition. Uh, a little bit dirty, but uh, no broken gears or anything. Lubrication seems to be by this uh, felt pad soaked with oil that drips uh, drips oil down a whole bunch of little uh, holes onto the gears and into the uh, bearings. These little tubes that take oil down into the bearings. I've pulled off and disassembled the apron here. Uh, it's pretty dirty. Uh, definitely needs a good cleaning. Uh, a few problems on this. Uh, this uh, wedge piece that it controls the uh, tension is cracked, so it doesn't touch this screw, so it tends to 
get pulled back and wedge the thing too tight. So I'll have to weld on little extensions for that. Uh, and the bigger problems are on this gearbox. Uh, biggest one is this gear is stripped. The one that uh, is driven by the uh, power feed uh, gear. Yeah, that, this is the gear that uh, drives that. And someone must have uh, someone must have jammed this up and stripped out this gear. So um, I think there's a lathe made by Grizzly that is very similar to this, almost identical. It seems to be a slightly upgraded version. I, and I hope the uh, spare parts for that will fit this. If not, I'll have to try to somehow make a new gear. That'll be a big project. Other less, not quite as bad one as the. Uh, these half nut clamps. Um, the cast iron is broken here. These are this uh, piece here that rotates. Let's see if I can get that. Rotates and pulls these uh, pulls these down. This will if I can push that. As you rotate this, it pulls these down into place. And it's kind of a bad design having such a thin uh, piece to hold to uh, be pulled in like that. It was kind of given that, given that that would break eventually. Okay, here are all the parts ready for cleaning. All separated out into bins, so hopefully they'll be uh, it won't be too hard to uh, put back together and some big uh, castings. Okay, let's braze on the, uh, the extension to this broken uh, wedge piece. That's done, and that all seems to uh, look very good. Seems we've got a nice flow down the uh, V-joint there, so hopefully this will be quite pretty strong. These parts are all washed now. I've removed all the rest I can from everything. Uh, looking relatively good. Uh, time to start reassembling this.
Okay, to fix these broken half nut holders, I'm just going to mill off some of the material uh, on top and bolt a plate onto it. I'm a little bit worried about trying to weld to them because welding to cast iron is hard and I'd be worried about thermally shocking them and cracking them. So it looks like the first use this is going to get is uh, with the milling attachment. I don't have the gearbox uh, installed yet because I have to, these are needed before uh, putting that back together, so I've just clamped the uh, sl uh, apron in the right place. Now we can start uh, machining this. We've got a half inch two flute milling cutter in there. And let's see how this goes. That all seems to have gone pretty well. We've got the end mill down, the plate on them, uh, all ground to a match, and they fit properly in the uh, assembly here. Okay, these sort of just go in like this and just turns and pulls them up and down. Figured I may as well uh, paint these before getting going any further. Uh, it'll be diff more difficult to do later once they're assembled, so we'll get that out of the way right now. That's pretty much all I can do now until the paint dries. Uh, stay tuned for the next video where we'll put this all back together. Thanks for watching.